Hello, everyone. Welcome to Aptera Owners Club. One of our club members, Curtis, who is a computer scientist, he goes by the YouTube name Oopsie. Um, he put together this really cool um, Google Sheets um, spreadsheet that uh, helps you calculate the range of an Aptera compared to other um, EVs. And um, he made it publicly available and he told me it was okay to make a video on it. And, I, and he put it on the um, Aptera forum on their official forums. And I thought it was uh, useful enough that I would share it um, on this channel. So I will link his original sheet and also my modification of his sheet in the description below. And here, this is his original sheet. And you can see he's got tabs for uh, the Aptera off road. Um, the base um, Aptera versus the standard range Model 3 versus the Rivian um, versus, anyway, lots of things, Cybertruck, all kinds of stuff. All right, so uh, looking at this stuff, the way this works is you input the speed you can change these values in orange and then it calculates all the stuff in yellow for you. So you can change the vehicle speed, the weight, uh, the coefficient of road friction that comes from here. So, um, car tires on concrete is 0 0.01 to 0 0.015. And then like on tar or asphalt, it's a little bit stickier. So 0 0.02. And if it's on gravel um, or cobble, 0 0.03. So anyway, um, these numbers go up. And then you put in um, how much usable battery they have here, and then drivetrain efficiency here, and then it spits out a theoretical range here. Okay, so I took his spreadsheet and mainly copied this part right here with the Aptera 1000 mile at various speeds. And then I just made a a different one with the, just the different um, uh, different miles here. Okay, so here's the assumptions that are made. So this is all theoretical. So there's a lot of assumptions, and the main assumptions are, you know, we're making est, um, educated guesses on this. So the vehicle weight of a thousand mile Aptera with a purse with a driver is probably going to be around 2,400. I mean, we don't know the exact weight because it hasn't been made yet. Um, but that's a uh, fairly accurate um, a weight and also kind of depends on how much you weigh too. And then the coefficient of road friction. So what I did is um, originally it was set at 0 0.01, but um, I made it 0 0.015 because that made it like a not super optimal road. And I thought it gave a slightly more realistic thing. And then because Aptera has three wheels, instead of four wheels, like a Model 3, I took three quarters of that and made it 0 0.01125 instead of 0 0.015. So um, changed that. And then I changed the drivetrain efficiency to 95% for um, Aptera. And then for uh, the Model 3, I changed it to 90% uh, because they're gonna have a few percent in drivetrain losses since they don't have a hub motor. Uh, so these, the, you know, you can kind of, fun, you can play with these numbers yourself. And the way you want to do it is like you get here and like, see on, uh, this is um, Curtis's thing. And I can't, I can't change any of these because it says view only. If you want to be able to change it, you go to file and you say, make a copy. And then you go like this and it'll make a copy for you. And now, now you can change any of these values. You can go and change this to like 0 0.05. And then it recalculates everything. So when you get uh, either the original or mine, if you want to play with the numbers yourself, just go to file and say make a copy, and then you'll you'll make a copy of yourself, and um, uh, you can you can change whatever numbers you want. So you can change this. Okay, so I change it to that, and so what you see is um, I made those assumptions, and then these are usable battery. So for the Model 3 long range, the, the newest long range has a usable battery of 76.5 kilowatt hours. So I changed that to 76.5 kilowatt hours right here. And then you see here, um, watt hours per mile. 
And so you can see the watt hours per mile uh, increases fairly rapidly as speed increases. And you know, the um, long range Model 3 is supposed to have a range of like 350 or something like that. And you can see that would happen somewhere between 40 and uh, 60 miles, probably like 50 mile per hour. So that's how that's calculated. And that's, you know, they, they calculate it with a mix of city and highway driving. But if you went consistently, you know, 60 or 70 miles per hour in a Model 3, you're not getting 350 miles. And those of you guys who own Model 3s realize that that's the case. Um, long, um, high-speed highway travel um, gives you less range because air resistance is um, basically um, based on the square of the speed. So as speed increases, um, energy uses goes up exponentially. But with, um, with um, okay, here, so let's go to the, so let's say you got the Aptera, so, so the Aptera 1000, I said 2,400 pounds, and then this 600, 2,000 pounds, 400, 1,800 pounds, and two, uh, 250, um, seven, uh, okay, I need to change this, let's change it, 1,700 pounds. Okay. So these are just estimates, you know, you can change the weights as you would like. And then as you can see here is um, the, the 1,000 mile range probably happens somewhere between 40 and 60, uh, just like in the Tesla. And then the 600 mile range happens somewhere between 40 and 60. And you know, same things at, at the 400 mile range. Um, so it gets a little more efficient because the weight of the vehicle goes down with the smaller battery packs gets closer to 60 in the 250 mile range you know you get almost 250 miles at 60 miles per hour anyways this kind of tells you like if you plan on taking this car for road trips and you know you like to drive 80 miles per hour on the highways you know with the 600 mile range you're probably looking to get about 400 miles theoretically um, assuming that all of our assumptions are correct like the road friction and the weight of the vehicle the frontal area of the vehicle and, well, we know the coefficient of air drag is a 0.13. That, that, that's, that's confirmed. Um, but, you know, a lot of things factor into it, like weather, road conditions, that kind of stuff. But, you know, this gives you a really nice rough estimate of how much range you can expect from the different battery packs based on the speed that you're going. So I ordered the 400-mile pack, and, like, the longest drive I'm probably going to do during a day is, like, a day trip to San Diego, which is about... 90 miles from me 100 miles from me so if i do that round trip without charging um, that's 200 miles plus i'm driving around in that area 278 miles uh, that that seems like that'd be plenty for me so um, if that if you're doing longer trips than that and you want to you know drive 80 miles per hour or 75 miles per hour which is what kind of most people do on the highway around here then you're gonna have to see how that uh, works with the different uh the range is like so the 250 mile you know that's definitely not happening 173 miles at, at 80 miles per hour that you know i would definitely have to find a charger if i wanted to do a day trip like that um uh, with a 250 miler but anyways i will link both um, curtis's original and my uh modification uh down below and feel free to make a copy, play with the numbers. If, if you like playing with spreadsheets and numbers like I do, it just, it's just a lot of fun. And when uh, Curtis uh, posted this on the um, forum, I thought it was awesome. And I got his permission to use it in this um, video. So thank you for letting us um, share in all your hard work. And um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching.